for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and get back to your feet. Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the finish. Well, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And to start to work, to try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. I get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. Now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Renault's looking to lock up an arm bar here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. I'm certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all match. Oh, and she lands another punch here, and you can tell at this point she's targeting the cut on her opponent. Fire there, DC, and now her opponent maybe seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now and try to find that kill shot that's gonna finish the night. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Well, oh, time's another takedown. Nice shot there by Renault. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. Oh! Can't take the finish now. She has to get, she has to chase the finish. Oh, it's over! Good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Van Buren! Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV, it'll be on the news, it'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks. And this is a massive moment for her.